So this comes after students have learned all four operations, all four sets of number facts in addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And then we come back to division and look at questions where it's not even. So it's not a fifth operation of course, but it does raise it to another level. So with other division questions say 32 divided by 8, we expect our students to have learned the 8 times number facts to know 8 4s are 32 and to have learned 32 divided by 8 and 32 divided by 4. But what happens if we ask them about 33 divided by 8 or 33 divided by 4? It's not one of the multiplication number facts turned around but it's a number fact they have to know the answer to. Let's tackle one in the division dividing by 2 set. 17 divided by 2. So we will say to our students something along the lines of how many 2's can we subtract from 17? Or what multiple of 2 can you take away from 17? Of course that's 16. So we can think to ourselves 16 is 2 times 8. That's the number fact we have to recall. So the answer will be 8. 8 lots of 2 are 16. How many extras are there? How many are left over? That's 1. Now I'm not going to go to the trouble of showing this with materials but obviously this would help to have materials when the students are developing the concept of remainders um, and that will no doubt help. Let's do a dividing by 4. What should we have this time? 26 divided by 4. Same process. We'll think how many 4's can we take away from 26? What's the biggest multiple of 4? that's less than 26. The language is complicated. The students will have to get used to the idea, the concept. So we can see to, say to ourselves, well that'll be 24, which is 4 times what? 4 times 6. So the answer is 6. Take the 24 from the 26 and there are 2 left. I'm not trying to suggest a particular setting out here, but you may have your own method that you like to introduce to your students.